Page 48, the caravan. They get, they're so concerned because now you're in different positions in the hands. You're going to be in different positions in the hands most of the time anyway. Don't even think about it. I don't worry too much about what position am I in. Just where do you got to go to play the notes? So at the beginning, you see the, the second finger on the dotted half note. Well, if you go there, that's your position. Don't worry about what it is, where it is. Anyway, that's a grumpy old man complaining. Let's look this over. It's four lines long, although it's got repeat signs, so it's about twice as long as it looks. But you only need to learn four lines. Treble and bass clef, four, four times signature. We've had all this before, and quarter notes and eighth notes and all that. Got accidentals all over the place. That's kind of fun. Right hand, let's just check the notes and rhythms. You're starting here, and the position is really here because these sharps and flats, we just we adjust our fingers as we need to, but the position is here. So it's one, two, three, and then here, then reach up. That, okay, second line, second measure. One, two, three, four, and then one and two. Those accidentals are good for the rest of the measure. So once they've given you the F sharp and the E flat, any more in that measure are automatically the same. Here, third line E flat two. Okay, get all that. I hope left hand. Well, left hand's just got the camels walking here. the third line we get different notes slightly okay that's as cool and then you back to whatever put the heads together starting with the third measure you're here one two and again we're just trying to get a feel for which fingers in each hand are working at the same time because they're different and that throws some people through me for a while then the second line Third measure, you get eighth notes. Yeah. Just make sure the fingers in each hand are working okay. And once I have that, then I go through carefully and get rid of the hesitation so it's a steady beat. Speed is not important right now, but no hesitations. And then I add the articulation. And for the left hand, they don't give you any. You have a choice. You can do what you want. Well, that's where I experiment. Do I connect it? Do I play them staccato? I don't know. It depends on the mood and the piece. I might play it one way one time and another way another time. But the right hand, they're telling you to connect them. So you're connecting the right hand, and we don't know what you're doing in the left hand. Well, if I start with the third measure. If I play them connected in the left hand, what it sounds like. If I play it disconnected in the left hand, that's what it sounds like. Maybe it's a combination of both. I could connect it in the left hand when I'm playing with the right hand and disconnect it when it's left hand by itself. Something like that. Something, it's up to you and your imagination and what you like to do. Now, dynamics, we're starting out P, piano soft. And then moderately loud, mezzo forte. That's the melody. The left hand stays soft. staying there pretty much throughout the piece in the last line you get the hairpins to get louder and softer I suggest you come down to about a moderately soft and go up maybe to loud and back down so 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 at the beginning of the last line I'm only going to be about moderately soft here here and then there that whole note that 
That's your target. That's where you're headed. That's what you're after. The left hand just stays in the background. The speed on Dante Marato. Well, they're mixing them up again, aren't they? Marato's in the middle, and on Dante's the leisure side of the middle. So, what think you can? Just a pleasant, pleasant walking. Now you have the first and second innings at the bottom. So at the first inning, you have a repeat sign, sends you back to the reverse repeat sign at the top. And you go down and then you play the second ending. And you get a retard there on the second ending, a retardando to slow down. Here. Now there's a note at the top above the reverse repeat sign. Second time, 8VA which means the right hand, not the left, left hand stays where it is. The right hand is simply going to come up here. Well, at the end of the first ending, you get a half rest in the right hand, you're here. The re during the rest, you come up and get ready to go. So when you repeat, now you're up here. Please don't copy me. You get into the music and you get to feel in the music and if you want to adjust the articulation in the left hand, go for it. You make it yours. Let's play it together very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do any articulation, just notes and rhythms, but I will go up an octave when I repeat. So I'll give us four counts. One, two, ready, go.
second ending.